Well, we celebrate our 70th anniversary at WDAY this month. We're also celebrating Dana Mock, who is marking his 40th anniversary at our station. For a man in front of the camera every day, he's not a fan of the spotlight, but he's graciously agreed to humor me and take a look back at what a ride the last four decades have been. Born and raised in Fargo, and in my house, that meant you were born and raised with WDAY TV. Everyone, the United Nations. And it wasn't always my goal to be in television. It eventually became a goal of mine. Comes in fast. That goal became a reality in the summer of 1983 when Dana Mock walked through the doors of WDAY. His parents proud of their fresh college graduate for landing a job as a sports reporter in his hometown. Put a jinx on you right off the bat. To them, you know, Marv and Boyd and Dewey, they were like movie stars. Like, oh my gosh, if you saw them at the grocery store, you know, oh, my mom probably squealed. And then all of a sudden I was like, well, wait a minute. Our son is going to be working with them. Not at 5 8, you're not supposed to be in there with the big trees. Dana quickly became a mainstay on fields and courts, reporting from sidelines and huddles around the region and beyond. And he remembers some humble beginnings. I did a live shot at a 10 o'clock one night. Moorhead Sweat Baseball coming back from a playoff baseball game. They came back here, and our sweet, crusty old news director was still in the building. Of course, he lived in news. And he just came up to me and congratulated me and said, Mark, you did a heck of a job. <laughs> I didn't want to correct him because I'm the new guy. So I let him call him, call me Mark for a couple of weeks. And Dana Mark, this is WDAY News Center 6. The next nearly two decades would give Dana a front row seat to the biggest sporting events around. The Twins have won it. Just personally, U.S. Opens, Super Bowls, Stanley Cups, World Series, I got to do two of those. Um, to, that just blew my dad away. That that I was at a Super Bowl and a World Series. I love baseball. It's a one-nothing, ten-inning victory. The Twins winning game seven, one-to-nothing. The series four games to three. Minnesota remaining untouchable here at the Metrodome. But it's the stories of the people here at home that always mean the most. The best stories were always like right here, like rural North Dakota and small town kid. After 17 years in sports, the last two as sports director, Dana would move over a chair and become the station's third male anchor in 70 years, preparing to replace the legend Marv Bossert. I was nervous. I was scared. I don't know if I would have followed anybody else. But he says it was Marv who encouraged him and made it easy. And I didn't want to be the guy to replace the legend. I, I wanted to be the guy who replaced the guy who replaced the legend, because I think that's safer. But Marv was the one who came up to me once and put his hand on my shoulder and said, news is news, writing is writing, sports is writing. So you, you'll do fine. For Kevin Wallivan and photographer Brian Celine join us live tonight from Kuwait. Over the 23 years since, there have been thousands of shows and tens of thousands of stories, including ones that will stick with him forever. Toughest interview I've ever done in my life, ever. The mix of emotions covering his dad on an honor flight trip. Thank you for serving. Thank you. People at the, at the memorials would come up and thank him for his service because he was wearing the honor flight jacket and his hat. And oh, it was, it was a great trip for him and, and me. And the night we were live for hours covering the riots in his hometown. How many times we turned and looked at each other and said, I can't believe this is Fargo. I cannot believe this is Fargo. This award-winning sports and news journalist has seen countless changes over the years and has embraced every one. You know, I just want to be remembered as a guy who had a good work ethic, who showed up with a pretty good attitude, who wasn't stumped by anything that he was assigned. After 40 years, he's still writing his own story and building his own incredible legacy. His mission is as strong as ever to pull back the curtain and show people what's going on in their community. And I've always told people that I've had the, the best seat in the house to everything that has happened in Fargo, Moorhead, and beyond. 
I know he hates the attention. Oh, totally. <laughs> but you are so deserving, and it's truly been such a privilege to sit next to you for nearly 25 of those years. We work weird hours here, right? We come in late, we go home late. <laughs> so I'd been here for a few months, and my dad said, why don't you get a job in the morning? <laughs> I said, Dad, I have a full-time job. No, you don't. You're not working in the morning. <laughs> That's your, uh, that's your you time. Well, we're <laughs> not sure it's going to work out yet. <laughs> we got and, you 40 years more. And, and it's Dana, but you can call me anything you want. <laughs> Mark, Mark, Mark yeah. I don't mind one bit. There was one thing that was missing, though. Weather, you want to give a try? No. <laughs> no, no, that's the uh, next thing. Not a chance. That's when I walk out the door.